Hi and welcome to today's practice. Today I have for you nice little mudra meditation. Uh, it will be a quick one uh, connected with our breath. So what are mudras? Mudras are different hand gestures, so it's like different way we kind of hold our hands while we meditate. Um, so today we're going to look at the Vayu Mudra. So Vayu Mudra is really connected with air element and um, this practicing this mudra will help you uh, with be benefit of all the in diseases connected to uh, the earth element so the um, benefits would be like reducing extra air from your uh, stomach and your body tightens your and strengthens your chest um, it relieves the chest it can also help relieving chest pains um, as well as building immunity and ha help find fight against any negative disorders so um, they do say, uh, believe that um, 15 to 20 minutes for two months practice, uh, for two months is probably the practice will, which, will you, which will give you benefits. Um, I also quite like it because it works the super, superficial back arm lane. So you might be wondering how does it work well, by doing different hand gestures, be working on the fascia into, uh, in our body and this, uh, because this mudra is, is uh, with our um, hands like any other mudra, it works the back uh, lane. So um, superficial back arm lane comes from your fingers, goes all the way back here and then goes to the back of the neck. Uh, so you might feel the release in the in the in the neck as well as going into your shoulders and and your thoracic spine hence that's how it's probably working so to do that mudra it's pretty easy you just need to place your uh, your uh, index finger on a on the base of your tongue uh, uh, thumb and then place your thumb over it so that's how we're gonna do it you're really pushing the thumb down and then opening the, the fingers, uh, they nice and relaxed. You can see that I've got the, the difference in my fingers and that's fine, you know, that's totally okay if you have that. Um, so by holding that fingers nicely, pulling down, of course, not too much as if you're feeling pain, don't do it. If you're feeling discomfort, that's fine. So in index finger on the top of the, uh, on the bottom of your thumb, thumb goes over and then we place a little bit of weight onto that. So the hand goes on your knees and now close the eyes. Okay, take a couple of big inhales here. We're gonna do square breath now. So square breath is uh, counting to four. So we in inhale, count to four, hold count for a count of four, exhale for a count of four, and then hold for a count of four. So four parts of the breath are of the, of the same length. And if you do want to get a little bit more about this breath, I've got another video on my YouTube channel with this, uh, with explaining this breath exactly. So if you're not following, you can always go to the breath the, the, to that other video practice I have. So keep rem remembering about your uh, fingers being nicely extended. The other three fingers are not nicely extended and your thumb is pushing down onto the index finger. So now inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. So that's one round. So I'm counting to up to four. So we do a big inhale and count up to four, hold, count up to four, exhale, count up to four, and inhale uh, and hold, co count up to four. So inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, 
Now count, count on your own. So inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, No, I'm not going to say anything, just inhaling, so inhale. Now let's return to normal breathing, deeper breathing, so just inhale and exhale deeply and slowly and really bring attention to your hands now, so the gesture with your hands, pushing that index fingers towards the palm of the hand. Getting other fingers relaxed. Really bring attention to your hands and see if you can feel any any tension releasing at all. Maybe it's on, on the back of your head, your neck, shoulders, or even in the wrists. Not just as really good to use if you've got tight hands and wrists. You can bring your attention to the room you're in, to the place you're in. Take a few more deep breaths here. Now slowly open your eyes. Look at your hands, if you manage to keep the mudra in the place as it should be. And when you finish, just slowly start moving your fingers, making nice movements, like rotations with your uh, thumbs, and then a little bit rotations with your um, wrists. And notice the difference. I definitely can feel the difference in front and on my uh, index finger which uh, for me it's quite tight from using a phone and other stuff. So
So just do this a couple of times a week and see the difference. I certainly can feel the difference. That's how I'm recording this video because for, for me, it's something which definitely really helped me with my tight wrist. So I hope you can get some help too. So let me know how it was in the comments, how you felt, did you feel anything? And I'll see you here next week. Namaste.